Hello, this is Katina with www.blessingsinbreakthroughs.com. I would like to call this segment God Talk. So basically it's where I just talk about God, the things of God and, and, and about his word. Today I want to talk about how good God is to us. He truly is a good God. Sometimes things happen in life where we question his goodness. We look at our circumstances and our situation. Now we look at what's going on around the world and we question his goodness and say things like, how can God let this happen? How can God let that happen? But you, it's so important to read the word of God. When you read the word of God, you learn who he really is and you, it helps you understand what is happening and why. Uh, and you may not get all your questions answered, but it does help understand a lot of it. And you, when you read the Bible, you do need to ask God for wisdom and uh, and, and and understanding of it. And so it's it's okay to ask God for help, to ask God for understanding, and uh, it's okay to not know and understand everything. Um, I have been walking with, as a Christian with God for a long time since 1995, and. Throughout that time, even before that time, I have seen his goodness. Uh, and that's not to say I've had, I have had a perfect life. I have not had a perfect life. Uh, there has been some, uh, there were problems. There were challenges. There were um, uh, uh, things I wish that did not happen. But now that I look back and now that I have a more strong understanding of who God is and his word, I could see his hand at work. I could see how he was moving things to put things in place. I could see how he was protecting me from different things. And I just think of his goodness. And now I'm in a, in my walk with, with God. I'm at a, a place in my life where I can see his goodness in spite the problems that come my way, in spite the challenges, uh, in spite the disappointment. I can still see God's goodness. I can count his goodness. Uh, and let me give you an example. Um, about a week ago, my uh, son was at a wrestling meet. And during this wrestling meet, he, uh, the, his opponent uh, headbutted him. And, uh, and when he did, it caused my son to have a concussion. And when the way my son was reacting on the uh, floor, I'd never seen him react that way before. His, 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 uh, uh, head was slowly uh, uh, moving around. His body was moving around in slow motion, like he can fall and collapse any moment. Uh, because when the head, uh, when the head butt took place, the uh, it happened so fast, we didn't see it. I, I didn't see it. Uh, the referee didn't see it. The coaches didn't see it. It just happened just that fast. But it was obvious something, something was going on. Uh, after, shortly after it took place. And so when, uh, so uh, it was close to, at this point, I believe yeah, it was around three. It was uh, close to the, um, the, their competition to, to, uh, to, for their match to be over. And so uh, when they took him to, uh, the, the, the coaches realized something wasn't quite right with him. And so they, they helped him to his, to his, to his seat. And, um. And shortly after they helped to see, they gave him uh, Gatorade. They gave him different things to eat and drink and, and uh, that sort of thing. And uh, try to realize what, what was going on. They tried was, was trying to figure out what was going on with him. And so when I saw that, uh, when I realized it was uh, what happened uh, and it was a concussion and that sort of thing. And, and at this time, I had been, well, before this time, I had been fasting and praying and about uh, uh, our health and uh, my family health and uh, that sort of thing and uh, for weeks. So I was, the first thought that came to my mind was how can this happen to my son? When, uh, why would this happen to my son when I have been fasting and praying uh, for our health and for our safety and for weeks? And uh, and then, uh, and, 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 and as, as I thought on that thought, uh, as I see that he was, uh, still struggling and uh, during the time when he got injured, I uh, and I and I paused for a minute and I thought all I could think of, all I could think about 
is the goodness of God. I said, God is, I said, I can't be mad at God. I can't be mad at him because I still, I, I've tasted his goodness. I've seen his goodness. This is the same kid when he was a baby. Uh, he was a newborn baby. Uh, uh, he has a twin sister. And uh, when they were born, they were born premature. They were so small that they put them on special formula to help them gain weight. So when, uh, but the problem with the formula, it would cause, it would cause them to spit up. So they, and then uh, when they uh, spit up, sometimes they would choke on it. They would choke on the, uh, uh, choke on it. So we caught them, uh, the dad and I caught them. This happened uh, uh, several times where uh, they'll be drinking the formula. I sure like that they uh, uh, finish, they will vomit again. And uh, they sleep and sometimes they, we, you know, they uh, attempted, you know, came close to choking on the formula. But this time, this particular day, uh, we didn't catch it. When I went to his bed to check on him, I saw he was lifeless. I saw how he, his body was completely still. His, both his hands was in the air. His eyes was open. They were not blinking. His body was completely stiff. I would never forget that image I saw. And when I saw him like that, I picked him up and I took him, I, his dad was in the other room and he's, his dad is a, was a strong uh, Christian man of God, a strong prayer warrior, uh, one, who, one who knows how to call on the name of Jesus. And I took him to him and, and it's like when that, even though, you know, we both, uh, we both are Christian Christians. Um, his level of, of faith in God and his knowledge of how to pray and stuff was just greater than, than my own, and um, and so I took him to him. And I, and and at that time, it's like in my mind when that, as that would happen, I was so shocked. And it's like my mind went blank. I didn't think to call him to, to call on the name of Jesus. I didn't think. To pray, I, I just my blind my mind just went blank. I couldn't think of anything, and I just took him straight to his dad. And when I did, his dad just took him out of my hand, and he lifted him up before God, and he just you know you could see on his face the I could see on his dad's face how he was lifting up to God and and pleading with God to spare our son's life, to save him, to spare his life, to let him live. I hear him, and all this, I'm watching it, 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 it's everything happening, and he's lifting him up before God, and praying to God, and then she asks God to show him mercy, asking God to spare his life, asking God to cover him with his blood, asking God to bring him back to life. And as my husband is praying for his son, our son, God did just that. He brought our son back to life. I saw the breath of God enter back into our son. I saw my son breathing again. I saw him, him, his eyes blinking again, his arms moving again. I watched God perform this miracle on this same son, this same son I'm talking about. I watched God perform this miracle for him. I watched God spare his life and bring him back to life. And I was so grateful I was so grateful. I was so happy to see my son back to life, to have my son back. And when it, when his dad finished praying, he handed him back to me. And we both were relieved. We were, we were relieved. We were relieved that God gave us this opportunity. So to now and to, as I think about that and, and, and see that God gave, he did, God didn't have to. I'm not entitled to anything. God doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't owe me anything. And to see that God did that, and now when my son have an injury, 16 years later, my son have an injury from a wrestling meet, uh, 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 that I'm now going to get angry with God and, 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 and say, why did he let my, my son be hurt like this? I can't, because I taste his goodness. When you have a God that's, death for you and you can look back and see the miracle he's the, the miracles he has performed the things he have done you can't just take that lightly 
and not consider those things too when you go through tests and trials. So when that happened, yes, I was hurt and I felt some hurt when I saw my son hurting. I was I was hurt and I didn't want him to go through that pain and stuff and I didn't want him to hurt and I wanted him to be okay. And uh, and I thank God because this uh, he is okay. This now, uh, uh, like I said, about a, a week or so. Uh, this took place about a week ago, and uh, he is okay. And uh, it was a mild uh, concussion, but he's okay. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, he's thriving as uh, just like before. And so God didn't have to. And even that that night when that happened, when he got the injury, I can still see our God protected him the his uh, opponent when he saw him wobbling and, and and could fall to the ground any minute he could have took advantage of that he could have just went and plowed to him and just knocked him to the floor he didn't he waited he 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 did not he, when he saw that my son could barely was barely able to stand he just waited there he waited he didn't do anything and even though some, I, I heard uh, some of the uh, opponents, uh, the, the, the some people in the, in the audience uh, saying, uh, you know, to do a man, to, to take advantage of that. He didn't. And I thank God that he didn't because my son could have been injured worse if he did. So I'm able to see even in those moments, God's goodness, his protection. I thank God that my son was able to walk from that. I thank God that my son was still able to perform. As a matter of fact, he's he has a wrestling meet today. He's still able to perform. He's okay. And so I look at, again, God spared me from unnecessary hurt, pain, and suffering. He spared my child from unnecessary hurt, pain, and suffering. Because things could have got worse. Things could have been worse. So I still can see his goodness. Thank you, Jesus. I still can thank him. I can still say, the, 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 lift up his voice and magnify his goodness. He truly is a good God. No matter what we go through in life, there's still some goodness. We just have to choose to focus on the goodness, the goodness of God, the goodness in life. I choose to focus on the goodness. I choose to Instead of letting my thoughts be uh, be consumed with negative things about God and blaming God and anger with God, I choose to let my mind be consumed with his goodness. I, 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 I think of those songs that talk about his goodness. I, 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 I say those scriptures that speaks of his goodness, how good he is to us, because he truly is. The word of God let us know, and God's word, he says, every... Every good and perfect gift comes from him. Every good gift we have, every perfect gift we have, it comes from God, the God above, Jesus Christ. That's a good thing. That's a good God. God let us know in his word. He loves us so much that he gave us his only son so that we won't perish, so we won't end up in hell. All we got to do is accept his free gift. His free gift of salvation. That's a good God. That is a good God. So don't be so focused on the negative that's happening around you or in your life and want to blame those things on God. God is a God of love. He loves you. He loves you. You have to believe that if you want to change your, the negative things that's happening in your mind, the negative thoughts, the things that are causing you stress and anxiety and causing you to, to be confused and causing you to be angry, you have to choose not to continue to let those angry thoughts, those negative thoughts play in your mind over and over and over again. You have to replace those negative thoughts with good thoughts. You say, where do I get the good thoughts from? Start with the word of God. Start reading about God's goodness. How truly good he is to us. If you need a good start, 
I wrote about it on my website. It is under the title, God is good to us. Read it. You're going to find some Bible scriptures showing proof that God is good to us. He truly is. He truly is good to us. God bless you. God bless you. If this has encouraged you and has been a blessing to you, share this with others. They need it too. This is Katina with Blessings and Breakthroughs. Bye.